Radio Raheem here at Floyd Mayweather's gym with Jay Leon Love. You know, Jay Leon, obviously, I'm going to take you back a beat before the end of that fight. Um, did you feel like you were in control of the fight up until that moment? Yeah, I knew that he, you know, I was outboxing him. It was fairly easy to outbox him. He was kind of slow on his feet. He was cutting the ring off well. You know, I was just boxing him using my jab and things like that. He just, you know, he, cut, he, he had good timing with a left hook and caught me. Did you feel like his power was more than you expected? It seemed like when he did hit you, that it, you know you were there was some recognition there, like you felt it. I mean, yo, anybody can have power. You get you, first off, you ever been hit with them small gloves on? No, never. I've been hit with bare knuckles. Okay, <laughs> the, it don't. I, anybody can punch hard with those small gloves on. I don't care who who you are. You know what I mean? So you're always gonna give recognition to. You're gonna always give recognition to a guy. A guy that's trying to punch your head off. You know what I'm saying? But you know he has some, he definitely has some good pop, and um, I mean he had thirty something knockouts out of thirty something or twenty some knockouts out of thirty some fights, a, a, a very good puncher, you know. But that's not saying anything. I mean, if I fought him tomorrow, I, I would outbox the hell out of him. You know what I mean? But. It just, it just happened the way it happened. So you won't get to fight him tomorrow, but you will get to fight again. You'll live to fight another day. Oh, yeah. What kind of adjustments has this experience forced you to make? And looking forward, can you talk about what mistakes you feel like you made in the ring that night? I didn't make any mistakes, really, in that night. I, I kind of, I think I maybe just dropped, I dropped my, um, my right hand and his left hook landed. You know what I mean? But, you know, I was out boxing him. I mean, if, if I would have stopped him in the third round, what mistakes would people say I made? Not too many, right? I just got caught with a left hook. His landed before mine. We exchanged hooks. His landed before mine, and his got the better exchange, and I went down, and that was it. You're in a unique position of being in the TMT camp, so you have other fighters around you. A lot of fighters don't really have that. With the team around you after a moment like that, um, what did Floyd say, and what was the conversation about, like going forward? How, how did you how did you process that with you know, with your like promoter? Said, Floyd Floyd is gonna ride with me, you know what I mean. And I, I'm blessed to have have a guy like him in that position, you know what I mean. Um, whether whether lose or win or draw, he's gonna ride with you. He's gonna support you. Um, you know, keep my head up, keep it keep it moving. You know, like I said, it was this this is part of the game. You get hit sometimes, you know what I'm saying. So. It, it, it comes with the territory. We gotta be, you know. Right now, we can sit here and say, Jay Leon, you got hit, you got knocked out, blah blah, blah this and that. Well, now, okay, we got that. Now we're gonna see how I bounce back. Now, now, what, 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 what? This is what shows who I am on the, on the, on the rebound. You're right. You show up at media day. You know, you're doing the interviews. A lot of people would like hide and go into like dodging interviews right now. So credit to you for that's, doing that. That's that's not Jay Leon. That's not Jay Leon to do that. So you talk about Jay Leon going forward. How is Jay Leon going forward? How are you? How are you moving forward mentally and again technically? What, what, what do First you think off, you're gonna do? I know that it's part of boxing. You know what I mean? We can we all make mistakes, and I I, I made it. I made a mistake, and I got caught with a shot, which what is not not uncommon in this sport. So, you know, you, you, you either you deal with the situation, okay, it happened. How, do, how can I make myself better? And I'm doing that. First off, I'm here. I'm, I'm accepting the fact that I did lose. I'm accepting the fact I did get caught and stopped. So at the end of the day, now we move on forward to get back in this gym, to work. work leave all the, I mean, I wasn't distracted or anything like that, but all the, ne the negative stuff, just leave it out. You know what I'm saying? Continue my path. So what I gotta do? I don't know you personally, but you have a cross section of people supporting you that came out immediately, said he's a good guy, I'm still in his corner, he's gonna come back from this. So obviously you are a good guy, you've, you've touched a lot of people in, uh, in the box world and made them feel like they should continue to support you. What do you have to say to those who don't know you, who may have just been introduced to you on that night, talk to them about what they don't know about Jay Leon Love and what they'll find out going forward. I mean, to make an assessment or a judgment, I feel like I don't even, I shouldn't have to, I never can make an assessment or a judgment without actually knowing somebody. So I'm not gonna sit here and say, get to know me, or this is about Jay Leon. You don't know me, don't worry about it. Make whatever judgment you have to. I'ma still continue to live my life the way I need to live it, keep God first, and get to the goal I need to get to. Whether you know me or don't know me, period. So good luck that's with, what it is. Good luck with that, man. It was a pleasure to meet you. Thank Radio you. Raheem with Jay Leon Love.